And um, so, uh, hi everyone. I have no idea how much you got recorded. Uh, we were kind of goofing around, so it may have been silly. I'm Bonita. I'm here with my dear friend, Will Harris. Will Power Harris. <laughs> Um, and we are, um, I'm going to drop all the information into the comments and the description for you all to get. Will, are, are you sharing it onto your, uh, your professional page right now? No. No. I am not that savvy. <laughs> are you able to bring up Facebook? I can bring up Facebook, yeah. I can definitely. Yeah, so bring it up and bring up your page, and you will see us talking to you. Make sure you keep the volume on mute on Facebook, or we'll get a weird sound loop. Mm -hmm. And then just click on share. Okay. So, you guys, the reason we are here right now is so that we're doing a little practice session because this Sunday, Eastern Standard Time at 8 a.m. I am going to be talking with Will um, as part of our Voices of Freedom series. And Will is going to share with us some of his fascinating life story and how he went from being just a regular guy who only just thought about like earning money and taking care of himself and his family and whatever to being an international humanitarian who helps like by my count, Will, hundreds of thousands of people have accredited you with their lives being better. Is that correct? That's a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do events where how many people show up at some of your events? Um, to... I did a speech to 800,000 people mm -hmm. and 600,000 and 500,000 and two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you guys, that's not... 800,000 live stream. That's 800,000 people show up and fill a stadium to hear Will talk about how to grow yourself, how to evolve yourself. He is an inspirational speaker and international best selling author. He sets up like orphanages and education centers in impoverished countries. He uh, creates volunteer programs where people go into their communities and revitalize their communities to help those who need support so that the entire community can thrive. And so have you figured out how to share yet to your- uh... I haven't figured out to share, but I have found you. Okay, but so you see, see the two share. of us talk. Okay, you see the two of us talking on Facebook? I do. Below it, on the bottom right corner, it says share and there's a little arrow. Mm -hmm. Click on that. Okay, I'm there, and now I can share to a page you manage. Yay, so I can share. Isn't this exciting? Yep. <laughs> yes. It's cool. So, so you guys, um, normally I'm like in an afternoon, evening kind of presenter. We're meeting at 8 a.m. this Saturday because Will's got huge global followings, including India. He's got a lot of followers in India, like millions of people. And they're going to join us. What time is it 8 a.m. here on the East Coast of the U.S.? What time is it in India? 6 p.m. There you go. There well, you go. 30, yeah. yeah. So that's why we're doing 8 a.m. here so that we can get a global watch party going. Um, yeah, exactly. yeah, I'm excited and I feel good too because now it's connected to the big page. Now, most of the people that follow me are asleep right now, but mm -hmm. when they wake up, they'll see it. <laughs> and that's okay because we're on Facebook live stream, which means even after we talk, anyone who wants can come see it. So, if 8 a.m. is too early for you all, come join us whenever you wake up, you're drinking your coffee and catch up with us, you know, on the flip side. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So, Will, real quick, uh -huh. um, how many books have you written uh, oh, that yeah. are published and how many are are you getting ready to publish? So how many? Okay. So I have 11 that I published. Two were number one bestsellers. One was a bestseller just in India. 
and I have 12 that I'm doing before August. The man works fast. And these books are good. They're very inspirational. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I was just going to say that yep. when you're writing about what you live, if you write about your yesterday, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's not like you have to create something. But when you kick out the truth um, and you get to see a lot of people and experience a lot of things, then a lot of things can come out. So. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to Saturday. Saturday is going to be hot. Yes. Yes. And we look forward to like, Will, you were not given like a million dollars when you were young to go start a business. You're self-made. You know what? It's funny you said, Benita, I was talking to uh, my wife about that last night. I was like, you know, my friend said I was self-made. And she's like, well, yeah, you didn't start off with a whole lot of money. I said, is that self-made? Because I kind of feel like you made me. I feel like Benita helped make me. I don't feel like a self-made man, but she said, no, the definition is, did you have money? I was like, no, I didn't have no money. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I definitely didn't have no money. So I I'm becoming more comfortable with the title self-made. So I just mm -hmm. feel like, you know, anybody you meet, anybody you come across, they help to make you. Um, but uh, yeah, we were poor. So yeah, I started off poor. I'm not poor now. Right. But yeah, sorry. So I think it has to be said in the current Black Lives Matter time, mm -hmm. you know, you're a black man in America and you were not wealthy. Mm -hmm. You had to like really work hard and be super like inspirational, uh, super like intuitive, really creative in order to get every success that you got. Yeah, I, you did. I experienced like the nicest racism you could ever experience. Like if racism can be nice, that's what I was hit with. So mm -hmm. one year I was working extra hard after work and the person who owned the company, I was in Richmond, Richmond, Virginia, where they were now tearing down statues around the Confederate. And the CEO, when I came in, I went in just to ask him a question about an account. But he thought because I was there late, he said, listen, I know you want to talk to me about the promotion but I just want to let you know you're black. And because you're black, you have to work twice as hard as everybody else. Now that's not fair, but I'm just telling you this kid so that you can be on the right track. And I was like, uh, yeah. And next day I quit. Yeah. Cause I was responsible for a big account. And I was like, yeah, y'all can lose this big account because me and black me are going to walk away. But I mean, it's that way he's trying to be mean. He's actually trying to be nice, but it sucked. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, honestly, as a female chef, I had the same stuff, but yeah. um, but different because you had it because you were a man. All men had privileges over me because I was a woman, but because I was white, all whites had privileges over you because you were black. You know, there's you know, it's like it's it's nice that all of this is coming out like yeah. erupting out. I don't know if nice is right. It's good. It's time. It's imperative. Yeah. yeah. It's just a matter of how do you handle it without becoming jaded? Because we all have issues. So no matter who you are, when you listen in on Saturday, it's not just about Black Lives Matter. That's right. a very hot topic. It's very important. But all of us are experiencing somebody attacking us at some level. And how do you not stay jaded while you're being attacked? How do you somehow help to evolve the person that's attacking you? So we're going to be able to use the topic of Black Lives Matter, but it, this topic, it matters to all lives. Yes. And to me, Saturday is so important because so much of the conversation about Black Lives Matter, it's heartbreaking and it's hard yeah. and everyone, I, you know, a, it's bringing out the guts and the core of many of us. But your story on Saturday is one of the most inspirational stories I know because oh, you. you not only made it, but just like you say, I don't see myself as self-made because a community helped me, you know, you're like, okay, now I'm doing well and you build a community. You're very community driven and you're like, 
you're you're just one of the most inspirational people I know. I can't wait to share details of your story with people. I like me. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> okay, so, so guys, time on Saturday, a great time. <laughs> and we're getting some nice hellos. Hi, everyone. Um, we will see you guys Saturday morning. I'll put the link here. We're going to live stream to my page and to Will's page on Facebook. Um, if you're not already Will's friend on Facebook, you can friend him. You can join the Willpower Now. Is that it? Willpower Now, right? Mm -hmm. That's the link to get to Facebook here. page. We'll put all the links here for you all to get. And we hope to see you on Saturday. Right? Bye. Bye.